Alright, let's say you have to replace a control module. If you have the option on the test plan screen to replace it, just hit that test plan, hit perform test, and it will take you through the steps on replacing that module. Let's say it's not in the test plan. You'll go to the control modules tab, go to the module that you replaced, say it's the engine control module, you'll right click, go to guided functions, and then go to the control module replacing encoding. Hit perform and then follow all the on-screen instructions. It'll ask you if the old one's installed or the new one's installed. You can go ahead and put the new one in. It's going to connect with the backend server, verify that the software is up to date. It's going to code it and then do any adaptations or basic settings that it needs afterwards. Same thing if you replace the body control module. Right click, guided functions. Go to replace control module. Same thing for the adaptive cruise radar. In the front, go to Guided Functions, Replace Control Module, Perform. It's going to take you through the steps. It's going to connect with the backend server. It's going to verify the software is up to date, code it, and then it should take you into any basic settings afterwards as well. Same for the Airbag Module, Guided Functions. Replace Control Module, Perform the test. Uh, the, li the Light Control is the Headlight Control Module, Guided Functions. You replace control module. Let's say you replace the blind spot with a lane change module in the rear bumper. So do you replace control module, perform it. Same for a steering rack, steering assistance, guided functions. You'll do replace control module. It's going to connect with the back end server. This is the backup camera, guided functions, replace control module. The night vision camera, guided functions, replace control module. The front sensors driver assistance system is the front camera above the rear view mirror. So right click guided functions and then replace control module. Now let's say you have a module that you replace that requires calibration. What you'll do is right click. If it doesn't take you into it at the end of the replace control module test plan, what you'll do is the basic settings with a calibration or adjustment. You'll perform that and it will walk you through the steps on how to calibrate it. That goes for all the ADOS uh, calibrations, guided functions. You'll do the uh, calibration. And then at the end of uh, replacing the control module, if it doesn't take you into deactivating the component protection on the modules that have component protection, you may have to do it in an extra step. So if you have a fault code that says component protection and it's showing static or active, you'll have to go to the guided functions of that control module and then on that you'll see the component protection you'll hit perform and that's going to connect in with the back end server and it will deactivate the component protection and then that fault code should clear that goes for any of the modules that have component protection it's basically a security functions to keep a to keep people from stealing uh, modules so any of those modules that have component protection that's what you'll have to do but that's pretty much the basics when it comes to replacing control modules.